fight number four in the contender challenge, UK versus USA. You know, Joe, Harry McGuigan, the former world champion, just made a tremendous point when he said that Buchanan has to take chances to get back in this fight, but he doesn't know if he's good enough to take those chances. That's the most important thing missing from Buchanan, and that's part of the price you pay when you put your fighters in, isn't it, John? Sure. With soft competition. You never get that answer until finally you're in a moment when all of a sudden you ask that question and you needed that answer before you got to that point. Buchanan has never had that question answered before. Just like Barry said, he doesn't know if he's good enough. He hasn't been in a spot to know that. Guys, let me ask you this real quickly. Jerson Ravello has not thrown the right hand in some time right now. Any thoughts that that's an injured paw? No, you know, impossible. That's a tremendous point, Joe. I tell you, not only because we see he's not using it, but Ravello has had problems with that hand before. He's had surgery on that hand, I believe it was a couple years ago. Still winning, it's easily one. Well, take a there. look. I mean, let's sit back and sit at home and look at the right hand of Jerson Rebell in the red trunks, and you tell me. He's had surgery on that right hand, not once. If my memory serves me, not twice, three times. So, good point and very possible Ravello has injured that right hand. Well, either that or he's just in such control and so confident that he doesn't think he needs it right now. Oh, well, he doesn't. The old times would say sometimes, and again, the great champions over there, Leonard and McGuigan could tell you and back this up. Sometimes your trainer just tell you you can win this fight just with your left hand. Of course, always the most important hand for a fighter. That's the case right here so far with Ravella. See, now if the corner was on top of it real good here, John Buchanan, they would notice what Joe just talked about and say, hey, listen, looks like there's no threat with the right hand right now. So you know what? The threat is only on the left side. Let's start moving over now to that right hand side and see if we can start making some hay. They're only sitting about three yards away from you, Teddy. I suspect that they may well have heard. We're going to find out soon. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty simple. You see a guy has not used the right hand for the last round and a half. As Joe said, if you're Buchanan, you're way behind in the fight, start moving towards that punch. The sixth round when we return. what you're in now. You've done nothing for five. We said take some out in the first three, four rounds. You haven't. You haven't. Right? You're still fresh. So you've got to start right this round. Right? You know what? Let's come out. Let's come out south. Huh? Let's come out south. But listen, you got hit on with some bombs, right? Alright? Right. Okay. Second round. Round six. Well, we spent the last round looking at the right hand of Jerson Ravello. He comes out here in round number six, still only utilizing that left hand. By the way, he's winning the fight. But what curious advice he got after the fifth round from his corner when they told him, hey, let's come out southpaw. How would he ever in the world have a right jab, Teddy? No, I mean, that's beyond confusing. I, I don't understand that advice, to be quite frank with you, because for two reasons. One. If your right hand, as you just said, is hurt, and so far, he's been giving every indication, he being Ravello, that something's wrong with the right hand. He stopped using it almost two rounds ago. Why would you want to put him in a position of a southpaw where you have to lead with that punch? But also, I'm confused because you're winning the fight easy. Why would you want to change anything? And, and, and note, Jerson Ravello is not fighting southpaw. No, he, he uh, understood the things we're talking about and made his own choice, his own decision, which I think was a good one. No decision to be made, John Rowling, on the scorecard of Teddy Atlas, uh, is there? Complete, absolute complete shutout. They're, they're trying to tell Buchanan, you've got to move to your right. 
and try and make Ravello throw his own right hand, which, uh, which he's actually getting a bit more success here and starting to land with the right hand over the top of the left-hand lead. Actually, it would be to Ravello's right and yeah. to Buchanan's Sorry, left. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, they drive on the other side of the road well, here yes, they do. the United Kingdom, we, so it all goes. And in fact, when uh, I was getting in the front seat coming over here today, <laughs> I got in the wrong side. I looked like I was going to drive. Thank <laughs> God I didn't do oh, that. Oh, you better believe that. Coming to the final minute mark of round number six. Now, guys, let me throw this out here. Paul Buchanan is not giving the body language or the thought of he's out there to now win this fight. But it is important, critically important, to the UK team that he survives this fight. Because if Ravello scores a knockout win, the Americans clinch the Sugar Ray Leonard Cup. But if Ravello simply wins the decision, they go up three to one, and the UK is still alive with two fights to go. Good so he hand. has to, has to survive. Good solid left hand from Buchanan. That's the best shot he's thrown for some time. But that's a good point, Joe. But again, my comeback would be do you go against the natural desire to do the most important thing and really what in essence is what makes a fighter and that's the desire to go in there no matter what it takes and try to win the fight I mean that's almost like a ball club being out of it and saying let's lose the rest of the games this year so we get a good draft pick <laughs> you don't want to do that you want to always try to win you don't watch the NBA much <laughs> Stop him now, it's simple as that. You're two rounds and you've got to knock him out. You're not going to do it, throw one punch, stand wandering around the ring. Little steps, you've got to get your feet going faster and you've got to get there. And your then range. when you're there, you throw. You can stop him, but you just got to put that right hand hook in there. And then go downstairs, but don't try to move. Stay there and rip that hook to the body. Bro, right bro. hand hurts. You understand the me? But you can't even throw right hand. I like throwing one for a dicey round. All right, but then, okay. then, then turn <laughs> soft point and throw the hard left hands in there. You know what I'm saying? Stay there. Go and have a fight. Right, you get your hands on your, on your chin, move your head, and go and have a fight with them. It's your only chance. That's it. You've, had, you've got this chance here. You've got two rounds to do it. It's up to you. Oh, Listen, you've got six minutes to be here, Ali. Now go and get out of here. Come right, on. Stop this kid. Out. The Sugar Ray Leonard Cup. Up for grabs. Two rounds to go. Ravello can clinch it for the Americans. Paul Buchanan, the unbeaten but untested. Britt from right here in Newcastle has been told your only chance you have to go out there and fight with him will he six rounds to be a hero that was the parting shot and I have to say in that Ravello corner it was a funny sort of conversation going on you know they're saying throw that right hand throw the hook go to the body and he's just shrugging his shoulders as much as to say well I hear you but I ain't gonna do it yeah I'm fine I'm not tired was his exact quote well, it's kind of like being an American football team, not English with the soccer where they use their leg all the time, but you're way ahead. Why start passing now? Yeah, run it up the middle, run out the clock. Oh, there's a right hand that drives down from Buchanan. Maybe a glimmer of hope. Well, there are opportunities here for Buchanan. We've been saying it from the beginning. If he can take the chances, if he wants to take the chances to close the gap, with the longer, taller Ravello, he can catch Ravello when he forces him back. Ravello will go back straight, and he will go back naked, hands down. It's taken him six rounds, six rounds, to finally realize that if he actually gets out there and gambles against this guy, he's got a chance. But he's not putting any consistency towards that effort John and he needs now being well behind on our scorecard he needs, consistency. To, floor him. He needs to floor him he needs to put the pedal to the metal as we say in the states